Welcome to the SpreadX Financial Trading Preview, and um, we're going to look ahead at a, uh, a favourite stock among SpreadX clients, yeah, yeah. it's Fever Tree. Uh, half year results on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, had a fantastic year. You know, one of many fantastic years. I think it's up forty eight percent year to date at the moment. Really, really strong stock. You know, something of a name superstar. And you know, following in the footsteps of stocks like ASOS and Boohoo, yeah. obviously in a different field. Uh, Obviously now one of those stocks that uh, expectations are so high with each release that it, it runs the risk of disappointing investors despite posting very good figures. For example, I think it's four year figures back in March. Revenue was up, uh, I think it was 66% to £170.2 million. Pounds. Pre-tax profit was up 64% to £56.4 million. Pounds. Really, really, uh, you mm. know, two headline figures, really healthy figures there. However, investors were still disappointed in the stock because I think its gross profit margin fell from 55.2% to 53.5%, mainly due to costs relating to the decision, I think, back in 2016 to use bespoke glass bottles, which is now, you know, sort of Fever Tree's signature thing. Yeah. It does make it stand out even more as a, as a premium brand, which I think in the long run is a good thing for the stock, but, you know, in the short term has, has a, had a slight impact on the gross profit margin. And with investors now, I think with it climbing so high, investors are looking for the slightest signs or danger warnings that yeah. perhaps this growth can't be sustained. And that was perhaps something in March that investors were concerned about. Uh, then in May, you had sort of a fairly bland trading statement that went along with its AGM, where it said that it was trading in line with market expectations, which for most companies would be fine. However, uh, Fever Tree investors have become so used to profit guidance mm -hmm. update, uh, upgrade, sorry, with each release that the fact that there wasn't one caused it to dip a bit in May. But like I said, that dip was sort of, the, the, there's plenty of buyers of Fever Tree at the moment that kept it climbing back towards, uh, you know, its current all-time highs and, you know, these up 48% this year. Mm -hmm. I think in terms of its uh, half-year figures on Tuesday, the, the focus might be on what it's going to do in the US. I think with those four-year figures back in March, it said that sales in the US were up 36% on a constant currency basis, which is very strong. It also announced it was opening up a North American office in New York. I think it previously had to deal with a different company to deal with its... Uh, deal with its offerings in the US. The fact that Fever Tree seems to be taking more control of that as well might suggest a more substantial push into the US and that might be something that investors are going to look out for on Tuesday. In terms of what our clients are doing, broadly, yeah, they're buying yeah. Fever Tree loads at around the uh, £35 mark. However, there are sellers present and I think that is probably like always going to be the case with the stock that's seen such a sharp rise despite there being a few, you know, areas of concern with the four-year figures back in March. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much.